talking about um, is how when we're learning very often as kids, um, we actually um, become quite um, uh, scared of mistakes. Yeah, which is a big problem. We, we, as soon as I start teaching, this becomes a problem. And we'll, we'll go into this a little bit deeper today. Um, but just based on that slide, I just wanted to bring that awareness there that we are naturally, naturally, we are scared of mistakes yeah, to some extent. So when it comes to you know, learning about the Quran, um, we actually have this kind of energy um, in terms of learning, which kind of makes us a bit scared of, scared of which makes us a bit scared of mistakes. Does that make sense to everyone? So that's something, if you've had lessons with me, you'll definitely already know that. Yeah, because we, we get uncomfortable in the lessons, don't we? Uh, and if you've tried the YouTube video, you might have tried it, noticed it there as well. So we know that the, the phrase here on this slide is knowing is the enemy of learning. I want everyone to appreciate that quite deeply. If you think you know something, um, it would make it very difficult for you to learn new things about it. Is everyone happy with that? Those of you that have lessons with me, just think back to the lessons. The time oh, yeah. when we learn the most is when you're making the mistake. And for a lot of you, I've explained yeah. that when you make the mistake, when you say, Alhamdulillah, or whatever you're practicing, yeah, and you practice it, and you make a mistake, and then you try and do it again, and you still get it wrong, and then you try a third time, and then four, fifth time, then you might start getting it right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Everyone know what's going on, yeah? So mistakes are really important. We really have to be embracing these mistakes. And when you come out of this mind of knowing, we go into the mind of learning. So there at the bottom, I just want you to appreciate the new language which we've already used. Words are very powerful. I know some of you a lot. I know Umar and Mudathir, you guys. We went to Mufti Meng's talk. Do you remember? Are you guys even following, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so we went to his talk. Yeah. What was the title yes. of his talk? The power of words, for those of you that were paying attention. <laughs> so words are actually very powerful. If you have a word for something, you'll be much more likely to appreciate it. So that's why already I've given you a word for the spiritual world. You have spiritual world and physical world. And you operate spiritually in the spiritual world and physically in the physical world. Keep that in mind. Another new piece of language to keep in mind is activation. So when you think of your lessons and you think of that moment where you you experience something which you never have experienced before, you're having activations, you're realizing things about your spirit which you don't usually realize. Yeah, so th these are new terminologies which are very powerful when you keep them in mind. Next time you come and practice Quran, next time you pray, next time you connect with Allah, you'll just notice these things a little bit um, easier. <laughs>